what led to you uh, going to WCW as a blacktop bully after that? Just uh, the empty promises of turning babyface? Yeah, that was, I put my notice in. So then I was out of work for a while and Arn Anderson, great friend of mine, uh, and my wife's from Charlotte. So we went down to Charlotte and uh, Ric Flair was the booker in WCW at the time. And he says, Barry, I want to bring you in. And so Bobby Eaton, Arn and myself were sitting in the garage one day in Bobby Eaton's garage having a few beers. And Rick says, I want you to be a truck driver. Think of a really good name. So we were sitting around and Arn puts his glasses down. We're drinking a beer and he looks at me and he goes, you're the black top bully. <laughs> I looked at him, I said, that's the greatest name I've ever had in my life. And I love the gimmick. It was great. We went to Rick and Rick says, that's it. Let's do it. And we started the angle with Dustin Rhodes and Ricky Steamboat. And I mean, and it could have went a long ways, but they ictioned it. And I guess I wasn't the guy, you know, yeah. but. It was popular, I recall that. Oh. And what was the issue exactly? You had that unique match that took place inside of a moving truck and... Well, it was it was the big uncensored match and Mike Graham came up with the match. He says, hey, we're going to have a match in a flatbed truck with a cage around it. You're going to go on a 50 mile trip and it's going to be the most brutal match and you're going to win because it's your match and that's going to be the match you're going to have every year. Well, they had the uncensored matches at an arena so it was a live show and then they cut away to our match. Well, I, somebody was saying, I don't know how true this was, but there was a few matches going on at the arena and ours was, you know, they, they went cut back and forth pretty soon. They were booing the matches in there. They wanted to see our match. So I think it got a little bit of heat, but you know, we were, uh, we were told to have, uh, have quite the match where we were bleeding in the match and, you know, make it, mm. make it the real, and it was the real deal. I mean, we were hitting the cages and blood everywhere, our backs. So the whole deal. Or false that you were let go because you bladed in that match? Well, what had happened was when the whole match was done, uh, both of us, me and Dustin, we, I mean, we were exhausted and they cut out so much of that match, you know, but anyways, I thought it was the best match I ever had. And then I had to drive from Atlanta back to Charlotte, blood all over me and, you know, the whole deal. And Dustin calls me up in the middle of the night, he goes, Barry, thank you, you know, and everybody loved the match. The next morning I'm in Charlotte and, uh, I get the phone call from Eric Bischoff. He says, Barry, what a hell of a match you had. And I said, thanks, Eric, you know. And he says, I got good news and bad news. And I said, well, tell me the bad news. He goes, you're fired. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> fired? He says, yeah, you're fired. You weren't supposed to get any blood in that match. I said, you got to be kidding me. I said, I, I, was, that kind of a match. I said, I was told that we were supposed to have blood all over our bodies. You know, it was an uncensored truck match in a cage, your match. And you're telling me I'm fired. He goes, yeah. And he says, please. He says, I really want you to leave on good terms. We've been friends, you know, and I'll, I promise I'll hire you back. So he says, Dustin's fired and Mike Graham's fired too. So I said, well, are you going to fire the camera crew? Are you going to fire, you know, every single person that's involved? Because they could have shut the cameras off. It wasn't just our fault. He says, Barry, you know, please. I said, Eric, if you don't want me here, I'm done. So that was the end of it. So we got fired because of that. And just uh, for the last question here, could you briefly go over, you were actually ultimately rehired and I believe you did several yeah. different gimmicks. Do you yeah. want to just go over the end of your career there in WCW, your last yeah, year? Yeah, everything's kind of a blank. I, was, <laughs> I hope you, you were know. paid these things at least. Oh yeah, I had a, Eric brought me back and he gave me a heck of a contract and you know, it was finally, all those guys that were getting paid for doing nothing, you know, that 100,000, 150, 200,000, I was finally one of those guys. <laughs> it was like, holy cow. I would, I'd go to TV and I'd say, please let me work. How can I work for free? You know, I can't do this. And they'd say, no, just, you know, take the day off. So they'd fly me into TV and I wouldn't even work. I mean, it was unbelievable. That's why they're still operating. <laughs> but I got a hand at Eric Bischoff. Great guy. You know, he, he said exactly, he, you know, it was terrible. I got fired, but he told me he was going to hire me back and he did. And he gave me a great deal. So, Do you think it's reasons like that that ultimately led to their demise? Oh, definitely. Yeah. There was guys making money that, so many guys that were making big money that weren't even working. And guys that were making big money that couldn't work. Because this is a question I guess I have for both of you. A lot of people blame the uh, Time Warner AOL merger, but if WCW had been profitable, do you think they would have actually kept WCW and it wasn't just yeah. that they didn't like 
interesting. Yeah. I think I think the big mistake that they went through is they went head to head against Vince. If they would have been a regional Mid Atlantic, Georgia, Florida promotion, they'd still be operating now. You know, and, and based on old school drawing versus pay. You know, uh, it was like Crockett's territory. Yeah. I mean, we were flew in private jets every night and we'd come home every night. Yeah. I mean, that's not the wrestling business. You can't do that. You, you, that's why he didn't make you it. You can't bring in $20,000 houses and spend $50,000. Right. 